right? So after this, we post this amount to the debit side here, and this to the debit side of this account, and so both are closed, okay? Closed. This is a closed. And this is what we want to see. We don't want to see any balance in these uh, temporary accounts because so that we can what? Continue with our next uh, accounting periods, accounting work. All right. Okay. And uh, this uh, income summary, this is a new account. This account is special. Uh, we don't use this account during this accounting period for these uh, regular recording. We don't use this account. This account is only used now for closing purpose. Okay. And so you can see why do we name this account income summary? Why do we call that income summary? Huh? Because, because here they try to uh, summarize okay, everything about your net income here. So here comes all the revenues, right? This is the first entry kind of transfer to all your revenues here. Okay, next we will handle the expenses. Okay, so the first one is uh, done. So let's uh, take a look at these uh, expense accounts. So we have three expenses here. expense account. They all have debit balance. So this amount here is the depreciation expense for this current accounting period. Okay, for this current year, fiscal year. And so next year we will record something for next year. Alright, so this one also needs to be cleared, all right? And same with this uh, salaries and the wages expense. This much salaries and wages expense incurred for this uh, past what, accounting period or this uh, fiscal year. So next year, next fiscal year, we will have what? Next year's salaries and the wages, all right? And so these should also be closed. So. Now, what do we do here to close these uh, expense account? You can see it's kind of what? Reverse, right? Because you have the balance on the debit side. If you want to make this become zero, you have to what? Put something on the credit side. So this uh, depreciation expense. we put on the debit side. You, this is not journal entry, right? So this is just a part of that. So you have to have this a debit side. So we still use this uh, income summary here. So you can see this uh, total here.
they have debit balances, right? And uh, why do we do this so-called closing here? Close means we want to close it. Close actually means we want to change this to zero. Change this to zero. Now it has this much balance in the account. And we don't want to see this stay there. Okay, we want to remove it. So in accounting, we need this accounting technique for that, right? We can subtract. Subtract in accounting means what? For expense account, subtract means you put them on the credit side. For expense, plus on the debit side, okay? Minus on the credit side, right? This is the accounting, okay, idea here. So revenue, if you want to increase revenue, it's on the credit side. If you uh, decrease, you put on the debit side. Okay? All right. And so we want to change this uh, balance to zero. Why? Because the new accounting, well, this uh, period or this uh, next uh, fiscal year is coming. So we are going to have this uh, new information okay, for this uh, next accounting period. So we should not kind of put them together, okay? Because remember the report for our income statement. Because these uh, revenues and uh, expenses account finally will be reported in income statement. And for income statement, we always say what? For what time period? These revenues and the expenses are only for this time period, right? So you should not, that means later when you do the report, you should put in your income statement only the revenues and the expenses for this time period. Nothing from here, nothing from here, see? So that's why when we have this end here, we want to put everything